How to befriend a crow. Part two: Offer food. You found a crow pair in your surroundings, and you want to offer food. Now, what is the suitable food for crows? Crows are casual eaters. They will eat anything. In our cities, they find lots of food that is not suitable for them in our ways. So to keep crows healthy and safe, I want to start with what not to feed a crow and why. Salt. Feeding crows seasoned food is a bad idea. Salt can cause serious kidney problems, dehydration, and death. So any kind of salted and processed food, this includes cheese and other dairy products, are not suitable for crows. Chocolate. Chocolate is poisonous to crows. They can experience vomiting, diarrhea, and seizures. In the worst case, it can even cause death. Bread. Bread is not toxic, but it is bad for birds in general. Bread is like junk food for crows. It fills their tummies, but it has no nutrients. Tomatoes. The leaves and stem of tomatoes contain a toxin. The tomato itself is not poisonous. Also poisonous to crows are apple seeds, avocados, onions, and caffeine. Now, what should you feed a crow? Crows love dry and wet pet food, peanuts and other nuts, eggs, preferably scrambled, meats like chicken, turkey, and beef, mealworms, crickets, fish, seeds, vegetables, and fruits. Table scraps without spices and salt are fine too. During nesting season, you can support your crows with mixing in some eggshells and chicken hearts for the fledglings. I sometimes mix cat food with eggs and prepare it for a whole week. It helps if you offer the food always at the same place and the same time, especially in the beginning. Once they know you, Time is not that important anymore. The place should be safe and offer clean water. Because crows usually dip all their food into water. Crows have a feeding hierarchy that we should respect. In my case, the male bird is always the first to feed and he will chase the others away until he is full. During the nesting season, he feeds his partner and the babies, so this dominance helps him to guarantee the survival of his family. If you feed a whole family the whole year round, it helps to spread the food over a wide area or in separate places to avoid stress for the birds. One handful of food a day is enough. They are wild birds and it is not your responsibility to keep them alive. You are just supporting them. If you get to know each other better, you might want to try some challenges with the food. Crows are intelligent birds, but very neophobic too. They might be scared at first, but once they trust you, they get very determined, which is a lot of fun to watch. In step 3 of this mini-series, we will talk about our body movement and our gaze during feeding. <laughs>